ولم تقتلوهم ولكن الله قتلوهم ولكن الله قتلوهم ولكن الله قتلوهم والله give him death if he lives he's gonna go and oppress another muslim والله give him disability والله give him disability فلم تقتلوهم ولكن الله قتلوهم فلم تقتلوهم ولكن how long you been in the boat 10 years doing what doing what 10 years why you're a bird where did he came from you bird where did he came from Spain. You came from Spain? Which area in Spain? Cabos. Cabos. What, what's the purpose you're there? Why are you here? Why are you here? To destroy his life. To destroy his life. To destroy his life. What specific? Women. 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 What about women? What, what about them? Zina. For him to commit zina. Does he commit zina? الله أكبر الله أكبر الحمد لله على إحسانه والشكر له على توفيق وامتنان وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له تعظيم لشان وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله داعي إلى رضوان أما بعد Today podcast we're going to talk about Shaitan al-Ashiq. Shaitan al-Ashiq does everything. Shaitan al-Ashiq is not only about sex or sexual dreams or high level of desires. No. Shaitan al-Ashiq does everything, whether to the man or the woman. Alhamdulillah, today we've got a brother here who will cross-examine, inshallah, and we get more information which will help me and him and whoever is going to be watching this video. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa How are you? Alhamdulillah. How is everything? Not uh, getting better. Actually. Alhamdulillah. It's nice that you doing this podcast with me because there's a lot of people who are going through this ordeal. Not only you. Yeah. A lot. A lot I know from my side yeah. and from the brothers who mm. sheikhs who read on the people, the ones I know. Mm. I discuss with them is a big problem. Yeah. The Ashikdin. Alhamdulillah. When did he started your problem? Uh, well, uh, I think from when I was a young age, because uh, when I used to, you know, uh, go to, you know, the the washroom, the toilet, the toilet. Yeah, I, I used to just shake, you know, but I never took into consideration. Yeah. How know, long do you used to shake, if you can remember? Just shiver. You shiver? Shiver. Yeah, like uh, shiver, goosebumps? Like, yeah, goosebumps, yeah. All right. Yeah. How long do you use to happen that? Uh, just uh, two, three seconds. And maybe. then it disappears. Yeah. So that's every time you go to the toilet? Most of the time. Sometimes. Most of the time. Yeah, right. yeah. Well, no, uh, yeah. Does it mean, uh, what do you do? Do you forget reading the adhkar, well, the dog, the toilet? When I was young, yeah, my yeah. parents used to tell me to read it, but uh, I, t I never used to read it. Allah. You neglect, you yeah, neglected. Yeah, neglected it. Yeah. But then in uh, 2015, I think that's when I started realizing I've got a problem. All right. You know. Yeah. So but when you were young, how old were you? Eleven, nine. Uh, I think eleven. 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 Yeah. So from eleven to th 2015, how many years is that? Uh, I'd say about good eight, nine years. Eight, nine years. Yeah. These eight, nine years. Mm. Uh, what happened? I was. Uh, because I, I, I can't remember mainly, but in school I f found it hard to study. All right. Yeah, but alhamdulillah, Allah made, gave me the ability to manage and get the basic grades that I needed. Alhamdulillah. But I was always struggling at school. And uh, at one point I was doing well in sports. Yes, but here then, or abroad? Here. Okay. I was doing well in sports, but then I just fell off. SubhanAllah. I just I started just losing it all. Yeah, you could not no, cope. Yeah, no, I know I couldn't cope. Yeah, mm. yeah. Mm. So you s after so all these years, about nine years, you said, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Yes. Mm. Uh, you didn't know what was wrong, but you yeah. only knew that the yeah, school I was, and I, was a, I was a baby, so I didn't really know. Well, you didn't yeah, realize yeah, what's yeah, the problem was, there. Was, yeah. Okay. Mm. So for 2015, that's mm. when you that's realized. When I realized, yeah. There's an issue. Yeah. Cause how how did you realize? Because when I was working, Subhanallah. Where were you working? In Burger King. Mm, in Burger yeah, King. Yeah. My my legs became heavier. Where was uh, where's that Burger King? Yeah, uh, in London. All right, in London. In London, okay. yeah. Okay. So my legs became heavier and uh, I found it difficult to concentrate and I was making mistakes in the in the orders 
people's orders. But I knew that's not me because when I first started there, I was a very sharp, good, very sharp. Yeah. 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 So that's when, and then it is resulted for me leaving the job because uh, every time I go there, I used to have bad thoughts about people harming me and stuff like that. Right. But I would think it was the shaitan. Yeah, but but you knew deep down that's not me. Yeah, I knew deep yeah. down. Yeah, you yeah. know, shaitan, that's what he does. Yeah. He, he puts whispers yeah. and develops yeah. in the individual to have a limit yeah. self-belief. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Mm. So and to cop, to put him in a captive where yeah. that whatever you do, mm. you think you have been limited. Yeah. You can't do. Yeah, can't. The confidence goes away. That's right. Whatever, think... It's the same time, mm. meaning you're thinking mm. uh, everything of you is not you anymore. That's right. It's the right. shaitan puts yeah. you in a limit, yeah, uh, place, yeah. Uh, captive. I call it. Yeah. Uh, then what happened, Bismillah? And then after that, uh, I started, uh, you know, losing job. Then life became what difficult. Job, what job was it? You went and after Burger King. After you went Burger King, uh, I stopped for like some time, and I thought I could try another job, which was uh, Tower London. Right. Is a shoe shop. All right. Yeah. So I worked there for a little bit, and then after that, how I'm long was that? One about, year, two about, months. About a, about a year. All right. I did that for about a year, and then suddenly, suddenly, uh, I got fired. Subhanallah, I just got fired. I didn't mm. know why. I just got fired, but uh, then I went. I went. I managed to get the job again. Was the but same when individual. I, when I got the job again, I couldn't do it because of my headache. I used to get really severe headaches because it was lifting boxes. Every time I lift, I get severe headaches. Mm. So I had to leave that job. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Subhanallah. Uh, and what happened after that when you left the job and uh, you getting severe headaches at work? Uh, I started, when you went to Burger uh, King, you get leg pains. Uh, I, I developed a relationship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That was the best thing that happened to my all life. All right. Yeah. For, so all these years you've yeah. been ignorant. Yeah, kind of, yeah. 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 But after, so that, after, after that, the second sucking. Yeah, I developed a, I would say, a really strong relationship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mm-hmm. At first I didn't know what it was. But now it's just, I think it's Allah trying to get me to be closer to Him. Absolutely true. Even though trying to show you it could what be spiritual really, problems. Really difficult. Uh, the shaitan could really trigger you so much that you, you feel like, you know. You have what does he do when he triggers? Can you, can you elaborate more? Okay, so basically, I would just because uh, I'm married, alhamdulillah. Mm-hmm. So my relationship at home is terrible, mm. subhanAllah. But we're just going by the will of Allah. Mm. You know what I mean? Because uh, it how long has been terrible? Uh, since after three months after marriage. Poor. Yeah. And how many years now? It's it's one year now. You've been one married. Year. Yeah, one year. Yeah. You've been married one year. One year. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So my relationship is is is, is terrible. Terrible. Yeah. Mm. What well. happens? Tell me. Uh, my my wife she becomes you know very moody all the time, mm. like ninety percent of the time. And obviously, I'm going through stuff, so it becomes harder than normal to deal with both you know, situations. Both situations. Mm. And I've got a little one to look after as well. Mm. So, Alhamdulillah, Allah makes us manage, but we're just pulling through. By so, how many years have been married? To one, one. One year? Yeah, one okay. year. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. So, do you think your wife's got a problem? Uh, yeah. But or it's what you have her is pro- affecting her? Her problem is hidden, though. Is All not right. revealed, Apparent. so she can she can go on with her day, All and right. she can live like there's no problem. Yeah, but you really, can't live. Yeah, I can't. I can't. It's going to tell us about it. Uh, at one point, I used to be able to train, go to exercise, uh, even though I had the problem. I used to be able to work, even though I had the problem. Now, I'm struggling to read Quran. Mm, that's that stage. Because I love I love Subhanallah to read Quran. Okay. I used to read two two three juz a day. But mm. now I can't read half a page. Mm. What happens when you read the Quran? I, I read the Quran, but then there's a force, like a strong force stopping me from reading the Quran. From the throat or the yeah. chest or no, the back? No, no, just my chest. Yeah. And then I just put it down, subhanAllah. So you feel your chest squeezed yeah, yeah, or yeah. your throat being... St- no, no, my, is this my chest like just have no interest. In, I love the Quran, but it makes me feel like I have no interest in the Quran and I stop. Something stopping me. I don't know what All it right. is. All right. Okay. Yeah. 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 Tell us about. You told me. I think yeah. last time that you lost it and you went to mental hospital and everything. Yeah, and uh, I was diagnosed with uh, psychosis. 
mm-hmm. uh, psychosis, which was... How long ago? Uh, this was in 2017. Yeah, yeah. right in after two years of you losing two jobs, isn't it? Yeah, 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 two years after losing two jobs. I was diagnosed, I was admitted into hospital. Mental for, hospital. For a month, for okay. a month. And then uh, I came out of hospital and I knew the problem wasn't psychosis. Yes. I knew, but deep down, but I just had to go with you know what the there was the system mm. you know because i was trying to do rukia myself i was developing the ability but who to told you were you were uh, ignorant before yeah i was but ignorant. who told you about the rukia <laughs> allahu akbar yeah. i just searched it up myself All right. slowly Google. slowly i got closer because my parents alhamdulillah they're practicing Allahumma so i learned a lot from them mm. i learned a lot from youtube i developed i learned basics of deen Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, I learned the basics of deen. I developed a, a really solid relationship with Allah, alhamdulillah. Mm-hmm. And uh, I learned what I needed to learn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. So you start doing ruqya on yourself, but yeah. still there's something reading, is missing. I was reading Surah Al-Baqarah every day. Mm-hmm. For how long? For about, uh, I would say, about two months. Mm-hmm. Uh, what the, happened? Before then? I go to work. Mm-hmm. So I'll read it in the morning so I can go to work. The work was tough because I'm going through I'm I've got headache, I've got my legs is same, heavier than normal. Same boxes. Yeah. Left in boxes. No, no, no. I went back to another Burger King. All oh, right. Yeah, yeah. So then I was doing Surah Al Baqarah every morning. My day it was good. When the you day read, was good. But when you I read was, Surah Al Baqarah. Yeah, but it was difficult for me to work mm. still because I had the problem. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I stopped Surah Al-Baqarah after maybe two, three months. That f- I used to read it three months every day. But then I stopped after three months and I did Surah, what made you Surah, Surah, Surah Al-An'am. I switched to Surah Al-An'am. Or Surah Al-An'am, I did it for like six months. And then I saw may minor differences. Alhamdulillah, my legs were shaking when I was reading for myself. Surah Al-An'am. Uh, Surah Al-Baqarah, An'am. And uh, yeah. Alright, so what's the difference between Surah Al-Baqarah and Surah Al-An'am you've been read? Because yeah, so Nabi Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says uh, Surah Al-Baqarah is the one who's got Barakah. Yeah, Surah, Surah Al-Baqarah, is, I recommend Surah Al-Baqarah. Mm-hmm. It's, it's very good because... Uh, when you're reading, what benefit were you getting from it? Surah is a miraculous Surah, Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Surah Al-Baqarah. So you go to work, no I pain, no work, nothing. I no, go to no nothing. I like, I like so, the problem is there. But, but I can push contained. through, it's like it's stopped. Yes. Like it's put to a stop, in a way. Put on a hold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. What about Surah Al-An'am? Surah Al-An'am, what it does is, uh, I think it was due to with risk. Oh, right. Yeah, my income. There was more barakah in my income. I was working at that time, when I was doing Surah Al-An'am, I got a job in uh, in a mosque, alhamdulillah. Who told you to read Surah Al-An'am? Uh, I got told by... It's a good surah to read for my parents. They told me to read. Or your parents told you to read. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But Nabi Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam advised us to read surah al-Baqarah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If there's any, pr- because it's got barakah. Yeah. And you don't know what sort of barakah it is. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, it right. could be barakah of the eyes, barakah of the yeah. money, barakah yeah. of children, yeah. barakah of. Uh, yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. We uh, the sh- the the ruqas mm. and Shaykh recommend yeah. surah al-Baqarah. Yeah. Full stop. Yeah. So, when you're reading Surah Al-Baqarah, you felt better, and yeah. then you stopped, and then right. Surah Al-Anam, and then you stopped. Yeah, because I, I, what got, next? I, got, see, I got, you know, something's stopping me. I mm. want to continue, mm, but, but something's just, stopping me, mm. subhanAllah. I have the, yeah, I, I read Surah, I read Surah Al-Baqarah at that time for maybe three, three months, you know, every day, mm. very loud in the house. Mm. You know, it become asleep. I was doing good. I was sleeping okay. No you dreams. Know, no dreams. Just w- I get wet dreams. Oh, right, wet know. dreams. Yeah, frequently. Yeah. Frequently. Even if you read Surah Al-Baqarah. No, no. When I read Surah Al-Baqarah, I don't get any symptoms. Mm. Like, uh, the problem is there, but, but not, I don't get nothing. any symptoms. Yeah, 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 alhamdulillah. This is the yeah. barak of it. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. How old are you? Me, I'm 28 now. Oh, right, alhamdulillah. Allah make it easy for you Amen. and remove the difficulty you're going Amen. through. Amen. Now, you've read Surah Al-Baqarah, you've yeah. read Surah Al-Anam, yeah. but the problem is still there. It's still what there. happened next? Then uh, I got, I thought to my, oh sorry, I forgot to mention. Mm. I read Surah Al-Baqarah and it opened the doors to marriage because I was struggling to get married. Subhanallah. Yeah, so he opened, the yeah, I told you. he opened the doors to marriage yeah. in a way that 
Allah, one day I just woke up and then the marriage is there. Is boom, boom, there boom. In Allah, yeah. So That's the baraka. I told you. But remember. Yeah. before getting married, mm. I could do other things. I could not think about the shaitan. But since I got married, because the shaitan al ashik, it makes marriage really, really difficult. Yes. Yeah, so to, now, get, to get married to, and in the marriage. In the marriage yeah. is really, really difficult. Tell me, tell us what, what's, what's difficult about it. And just into depth. Uh, Elaborate more. In the relationship, it's like uh, there's, you're fighting each other all the time. Not mm. physically, mm. but it's a mental fight. Yeah. Do you yeah, understand? That's how it is. Yeah, yeah it's a mental fight. That's all the shaitans. That's how yeah, it is. because it's like, it's like the love you know is there. Yeah, because I know, I know the love is there between you and your spouse. Yeah, yeah, the love is there, but the problem is there's my shaitan and her shaitan. Right. They battle in each other. So any little thing I do is a big problem. They're not up to actually yeah. battling each other, yeah. but they're just making you battle. Yeah, battle. Yeah, yeah you yeah, two together. Shaitan, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They're putting heads on. Yeah, together. You two. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. we ask Allah to protect us. I mean, I mean. But that's what they're good at because yeah. Shaitan loves to yeah. break down marriage. Yeah. Tell us more about the the battle in the marriage. Um, I like you know, you just wake up in the morning. There's no reason, but your partner's just upset. Mm, you no or her? No, I'm okay. Yeah. Alhamdulillah, Allah, you know, I'm karma. Mm. I'm, you have to be one calm one. Absolutely, that's how yeah, marriage is. I'm yeah. more karma. Mm. Yeah, so when she gets in the situation, I just relax. Mm. You know, hopefully. But sometimes from morning to night time, no breather. Just shouting, shouting. Uh, yeah. Yeah, shaitan wants from, to separate. From morning to Ashraf night time. Mal'ud. Yeah, mm. morning to night time. So I get really, f- sometimes I have to tell, I have to be firm. I tell her, you can't let shaitan play with you like that. Absolutely. You know, you have to, you get mad for an hour and then it's you don't, okay. Uh, just 10, 15 minutes. 10, yeah, it's yes, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Don't, don't exactly. Yeah, there is, the, 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 the humans have differences. Yeah. yeah. The humans are not perfect. Yeah, they're not Allah perfect. Allah says, وَخُلِقُ الْإِنسَانَ ضَعِيفًا no. uh, Created man very weak. Very weak. Yeah. So there will always be a deficiency yeah. in man and yeah. or woman. Uh, woman, yeah. Mm. Because كُلُّ بَنُوا آدَمُ خَطَأُ وَخَيْرُ خَطَأُ تَوَّابِينَ Every son of Adam makes a mistake. Yeah. And the great one is the one who repents. Who repents so yeah. the mistake mm. is from son of Adam. Yeah. Uh, so the best is mm. husband and wives, when mm. there is a little bit of mistake, yeah. Just to ignore it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Or you just get upset a little bit yeah. and that's it. That's you should it. stop there. Yeah. Don't let it drive because yeah. the drive, mm. that is when the shaitan drives it more. more because more. Allah says in the Quran, mm. Mm. Inna shaitana yanzaghu bainakum. Mm. Yeah. Shaitan cooks it. Yeah. And then so the mm. drive, it carries on some, t- some if it's one day, yeah. it's going to go to two, two, two days. days. Yeah. Two days carry on until there's no marriage anymore. No marriage, yeah. The marriage becomes a toxic yeah, marriage. marriage yes. yeah. We ask Allah to protect us from Ameen. having toxic Ameen. marriage Ameen. and Ameen. protect Ameen. the Muslim men and women. I mean, I mean. Now, in the marriage, yeah. how was your house? Do you sleep together in the same bed? Do you yeah. sleep separate? How was at, it? At first, intimacy at, and at, at first um, I, uh, I found it difficult to sleep, sleep in, in the, the same, same bed as yeah. my wife. Because every time I used to go in the room, my ears, my ears will ring really hard. One time they rang mm. until I started bleeding. Subhanallah. Allahu Akbar. Yeah. yeah. So I went to emergency. But I know it's no emergency, but just so they can help me a little bit. Because mm. I, I was looking for help. Mm. Subhanallah. Mm. Yeah. So, but then I got a trip to go back to my home country. Mm. You know. I remember you talked yeah, to me before yeah, even yeah, going yeah, there. I, I, yeah. I called you. Yeah, and then but I told you, come down. Shaitan was giving me was was then. Not to go. I don't trust this guy. Yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Subhanallah. Yeah. 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 The, the pain is not as much as it was you know i can sleep in the same bed as my wife alhamdulillah after can, coming out from abroad I, I got to the point where i couldn't stay in the house by myself mm. but now i can stay in the house by myself what happened before when you cannot stay in the house by yourself what happens i used to just get scared to stay at home by myself just scared yes I, I couldn't what do you I, do even after minute. that what do you do where do you go when you get scared uh, i used to go to the mosque or I sit in the mosque. Yeah, I sit in the mosque until my wife comes back. 
you know, mm, from where. Allah. But now, alhamdulillah, I can stay at home. By alhamdulillah, yeah. alhamdulillah, yeah. alhamdulillah. Yeah. alhamdulillah. Yeah. So this is the stage it took you. Yeah. Who told you it's Satan al Hashr? Okay, so when it got severe, you mm-hmm. know, it got so severe that I couldn't stay near my wife for even, you know, so I was I was running back home. Mm-hmm. I was going back home. My ho- I live in London, mm-hmm. but now I'm in Manchester. So I was taking trains back home because the pain I was getting when I was near my wife is unexplainable. What sort of pain? Can you explain? Yeah, so severe chest pain. Or, uh, strong chest pain. So I used to get that every time I come close to my wife. So I said, I need a break. Sometimes I need a break from the pain. But so it wasn't I, you. It wasn't me. You deep down knew it, it wasn't was, you. It wasn't me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know I, I care for my wife. I love mm-hmm. my wife. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so but... Uh, And then my auntie was like, this needs to stop, okay? So she started reading for me, my auntie. She read for me for about uh, nearly a month, two weeks, nearly a month. And uh, I was shaking. The shaitan, for the first time, it spoke then when mm-hmm. she read for me. And she said, the shaitan said, I'm in love with you. You know, my wife is there. Mm. But yeah. the shaitan is in love with you. Yeah, he's in love. It's with not you. true yeah. because if it's in love with you, yeah. you will yeah. not put you into yeah. pain. Yeah. Into pain, yeah. yeah. Paralyze yeah. your legs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. all these. Yeah. Yeah. it's mm. just not. Yeah, it just wants to take you to hellfire. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, mm. because he's he's using the road of zina. Yeah, because yeah. zina is one of the major sins. It's sins. Yeah. Yeah. Carry on. Yeah. So uh, so then after that, I was she was reading for me. Then I found out what the problem was. You know, I mean, the gin spoke says, yeah, the, the, I, the, love I, love, "I love you." I love it. Yeah. And, and then, then what happened from there? And then after that, she she took it into her stride to to help me out. She she read for me, and then after that, that's when I got the trip to go back home. And then I came back. Then I contacted you, Sheikh. Mm. I contacted you, Sheikh, because the problem is still there. Mm. You know. And How do you feel since you contacted me and you came to me? Uh, Allah, two yeah, trips, a lot, three a lot, trip. a lot of baraka. A lot of blessing has happened to my life, mm. alhamdulillah, by the help of Quran and yourself, Shaykh. Alhamdulillah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's all about Allah, Allah subhanahu, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa ta'ala. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's open doors, different doors for my life. Obviously, I still have the problem, mm. but the problem has it, more problems in itself. Mm. So you could be blocked into risk problems. You could be blocked. You could get severe was was, mm. or you could be blocked in the uh, friendships. Mm. You know what I mean. So, I think it it helped a lot. You know, it boosts my confidence as well, and I'm getting better. So was was is gone now. Alhamdulillah. Uh, yeah. Alhamdulillah. So, yeah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. What do you think? Where is this gin from? Yourself over the years before you came to me. What do you think is it from? Where yeah. is it from? In Jahi in Jahiliya, toilet, uh, the trees, or where? I was, uh, Subhanallah. I hate to talk about this now. It's fine. I, talk, because, talk, talk. Because talk. I'm, yeah. uh, I feel ashamed of myself. Mm. When I was young, I used to associate myself with the uh, music people of haram. Mm. So everything was haram. Mm. So one time we went to a holiday in Spain. Subhanallah. Mm. Uh, they call it lads' holiday. Mm. So we went there, and then in the night time, one time I was just, I lost it. And then my friends, you know, Jahiliya friends, they don't look for solutions. Yeah, they look. They just take a video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got, a video, I got a video of myself just doing random stuff, you know. In the sea. Yeah, and then when I came in back. The, where was it, in the sea or what? No, no, not in the sea. Yeah. It was, yeah, it was. Yeah, no, not a sea. Yeah. No where, 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 you said you went holiday in Spain. Where yeah. exactly? It was uh, Cabos. 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 Okay, is it nightclub? Yeah. Was it? Where did you? No, go? outside. It was outside nightclub. Okay. Yeah. All right. So mm. you lost it there. You I mean lo- you lost the brain? I lost. Yeah, I lost it there, and then uh, I came back. Life. I think that's when the problem started. So life, life from then on, I lost my friends. I lost my job. But these were not good friends. Yeah, these I don't I don't mind losing these friends. Yeah, Allah yeah. gave me better better friends alhamdulillah mm-hmm. right now. Mm-hmm. You know, Hafiz and stuff like that. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, so but uh, at the time it was really difficult year for me, 2013. I think mm-hmm. that's when the problem started. started yeah. yeah, 2000. So you're not sure when it started. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. 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 So 2015 is in the Burger King. Yeah, yeah. So when you come back from that holiday, what happened? My life just 
taken. You went to mental yeah, hospital? So, yeah. No, no, I didn't go mental hospital. I was just, because my appearance started changing. Oh, no. You know, uh, I was, I can't say better looking because I'm the same person, mm. but I looked much sharper than I am now. Mm. You know, I looked uh, presentable in a way. You know what I mean? So in mm-hmm. 2013, I started losing the interest to look after myself. You know, I started uh, losing the interest to to go exercise. Mm-hmm. I lost the interest for everything. Even my favorite food, I didn't find it my favorite Which food. Which is your favorite food? <laughs> my favorite food uh, is uh, beans. Uh, the beans, yeah. 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 Tell yeah. us about the beans. <laughs> <laughs> Tell <laughs> us oh, about the beans. Well, Come on, Bismillah. Yeah. Well, uh, sometimes you I have a dream I'm eating beans, but, you know, last night I had a dream I was... There was chapati. You're yeah, eating chapatis. But I didn't eat, alhamdulillah. All right. I didn't so eat. when you eat these beans in the dream, what happens the next day or th- after? I don't realize it, but I think it has an impact on me. All on right. the day, it brings about so many temptation. Like what haram temptation? temptation. Come, on, come and tell us. It gives haram temptation that I, that I want to... Commit give. zina. Commit zina, yeah. Or yeah. what else? Yeah, and uh, masturbation. Masturbation, yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Mm. So this masturbation, mm. when you dream of uh, yeah. eating beans, and yeah. the next day you get this temptation. Yeah, one time I got a really strong temptation in Ramadan. Subhanallah. But uh, Allah gave me the ability to overcome it. Mm. It was really strong, Allah. Mm. Before Ramadan, yeah. you you can't control it. Yeah, before Ramadan, I can't control it. In Ramadan, Alhamdulillah, I can control it. Yeah, because yeah. you know why? Yeah, because why? the jinni who is there in Ramadan is locked up. Yes, is the we is a strong jinn. Yeah, the jinn you have is the strong jinn. Strong jinn. Yeah. That's why it's locked up. Yeah. After Ramadan, After Ramadan. you can't control it. You yeah. have to do the actions. The actions. Yeah. 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 There's masturbating and yeah. everything. Yeah. So, how often do you get wet dreams, and yeah. how often do you masturbate? Uh, I get wet dreams for about uh, every other day. Mm, subhanallah. I think every. What other are, What are the timings? Uh, sometimes after Fajr. After Fajr, yeah. yeah. after Fajr. These are the very common times yeah, of the Shaitan yeah, al-Ashr. Yeah, after Fajr. What about the, when you dream, eat the beans and you masturbate? Is it No, no, uh, that, that is, Shaitan sometimes it lies, you know. Right. Sometimes he, I think he, is, he was just lying. He feeds me all different food, all right. you know, okay. so it's not just the Okay, bean. tell us about this masturbate, masturbation. Okay, so masturbation, I try my best to avoid it. And every yeah. time I do it, I pray Salah to Istighfar. Mm. For Allah How to often forgive. do you do it in a weekly... I don't have often time. Maybe yeah. once a month. Once a month, all right. Yeah. You get, tell us about it. Yeah, so sometimes I ignore it for like a week. I ignore the temptation for like a week. And then it becomes to the stage where it messes with my head. I can't think properly. That's when I do it. Mm. Yeah. So you can't control yourself. Yeah, I can't control yeah. it. Yeah. And then you end up doing it. Yeah. And then when you do it, what happens? When I do it, I feel bad. You regret. Yeah. You regret. Bad. Yeah. After regretting, what do you do? I, I pray so I, just, I, I seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then how is your body? How do you feel your body? After that, I just feel weak and then in regret. You know, I regret doing the action. And that's about it. All right. Yeah. The brain doesn't think, your yeah. eyes, no, your no, body. No. no, no. Yeah. This gives the strength, the jinn. Yeah. yeah. When you do this, any action of haram, yeah. it gives the strength to the to jinn. The jinn yeah. uh, watching pornography. Do you watch pornography? When you do the uh, masturbating or anything? Uh, you used to do, or you know? It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, I'd, I, I'd sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You, you have to watch it, or yeah. you don't have to watch it to do the action. The action. I don't have to watch it. Mm. I, but then there was a period where I went six months without masturbating. Mm. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, yeah. It's from Allah. Yeah. Rabbul yeah. Rizal. Yeah, Allah, it's, Allah. it's from Allah. Mm. Rabbul now, are you attracted when you do these actions? Are you attracted to your wife or not? No. You're not attracted? Nothing to do with my wife. Yeah. No sexual desires for my no. wife. Yeah. No, no. Not at all. How long no. does he... How, because you're a very young man. Yeah. yeah, you know, like someone yeah. like me or yeah, yeah, because for you it should be up there. Yeah, in the design. Yeah. So how long does it take? Oh, you, there's nothing. At I've all. got I've got a story actually. You Bismillah. Know, uh, for when I first came to see you, Shah. No, nah, tell me. Um, I got desires after seeing you for my wife. 
Allah. I'm not just saying I'm not just saying this because we're in a podcast. That's yeah, the truth. Yes, alhamdulillah. You After know, me doing the yeah, ruqya, ruqya, first ruqya. Yeah, I got desires for my wife and alhamdulillah. I made so much yeah, dua for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I that's mean, why you when you ask your ruqya are more based than the dua. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. I made loads of dua. Yeah, so uh, dua is the key to the believer. Yes. Yeah, I read the Quran a little bit and the dua. Read yeah. the Quran a little bit read and the dua. dua. Yeah. yeah. Because dua is the weapon of a believer. A believer. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Quran is top. Yeah. Dua is top. Top. Yeah. yeah. Quran is the words of Allah. Yeah. Dua, you have to express yourself. Yes, express yourself. Yeah. Yeah. And say it. Yeah. And when you see a believing man mm. suffering, yeah. you have to feel it. Yeah. Do you understand? Mm. I feel it for you. Yeah. Not only you, every other person every who person is, is suffering. In. Whatever you're saying, yeah. I can understand, yeah. but somebody else cannot understand. Cannot understand yeah. Because we know Jin what it does. Yeah. Uh, people come and react to different level. Yeah. Yeah. We, uh, me and the brothers who do Ruqya, yeah. uh, particularly the brother who I associate a yeah. lot, yeah. Uh, we know the depth of this shaitan, shaitan yeah. what he does. Yeah. The shaitan is filth. Yeah. It's not only into mm. desire, yeah. but also it puts the individual into captive. Yeah. Uh, not to do anything. anything. Just like your yeah. case. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't. can't even work. I can't work. You, you know. can't walk. You no. Know. Uh, you can't think straight. No. I remember at the beginning I said this is what they do. The yeah, shaitan. yeah. They block this you shaitan in so many ways. Has made a lot of people go mental. Yeah. A lot, I know. Mm. There is sihr which makes them mental. Yeah, I've I've got a situation. That, sorry. Yeah, carry on, carry on. Yeah. And uh, I think my head situation now is better. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Even though the shaitan still has an influence, I think it was sihr. Alright. Yeah. So one time the sihr just uh, I left my body, you know, and I went to toilet. I was reading. I was t- I teach Quran, so I was reading. My student was reading to me, and then the sihr popped in my belly, pop, and then it left. And then from then my head has been okay. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. How did it pop? Tell me. Uh, How uh, did you feel that is popped? I felt like something happened in my belly, something really severe, but mm. uh, I didn't know what it was until after two, three days. I still like I can think, even though right now I can't think a hundred percent straight. Mm. Yeah, but it's, it, it helped a lot. What thoughts do you get, uh, brother? He, just evil thoughts, you know. Tell us, please. Evil thoughts. Every time I try to. I try to fast, for example, in Ramadan. Mm. It's like, why are you fasting? You know, you know, you know, you can eat stuff like shaitanic, uh, you know. And as like, I ignore it. Allah, mm-hmm. I ignore it. I just do what I'm doing. I fast, and then at the end of the day, I see the results. Allah benefiting me because it's difficult to fast, even though I'm going through my situation. Absolutely true. But Allah, but do you, you fast the whole month, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I fast the whole month. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Alhamdulillah. That's Alhamdulillah. Good. Tell me more. Tell me more about yeah. Um, uh, the captivity, the captivity yeah. you're in. Oh, Shaitan, now I've started to realize his plan. But, mm-hmm. Allah, there's nothing. I, there was a, a time where I could do something about it when I could read Quran. Mm. But now I can't read Quran. Why not? All. I try to, but I can't share. Why? I don't Tell know. Tell me why. Something's stopping me from reading Quran. I don't know what it is. Mm. Yeah. How does it stop you? I think chest pain or maybe it's using sihr to stop me i don't no, know no. W- what the pains you're getting what sort I, of pain? i get chest pain how, how is it sharp it's just just pain no it's pain is like someone is putting a hammer inside and then pulling it down in the chest in the chest yeah but it's funny because when i teach i can read yeah but when i read self rookie i can't read yeah you don't have to read. You just go and read Surah Al-Baqarah back yeah. again. Yeah. Uh, read it back again. Yeah. Uh, I try. I try to, but I can't. Yeah. You you don't have to try. You have to push yourself. Yeah. I have mm. to push myself. Yeah. You have to push. Yourself. Allah says, "Oman mm. jahada fa yujahidu li nafsi." Yeah. Mm. Whoever strives strives for his own self. So. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Remember the story of Ismail. Mm. Uh, when he, his dad came to him and yeah. told him, "I had a dream." Mm. قال يا أبتي إني رأيت في المنام أني مرا في المنام يذبحك I saw in the dream he told me oh my son I saw you in the dream I saw in the dream that I'm slaughtering you he says يا أبتي فعل ما تؤمر ستجدون إن شاء الله من الصابرين صابرين الله says what فلما أسلم فلما أسلم when he submitted 
Not the, not the patient is yeah. the first key. The yeah. second is the submission. Submission, yeah. When he submitted, yeah. Allah lift the ordeal from them. Yeah. Because when he submitted, mm. the knife was in his neck. Yeah. So this pain, don't worry about it. Yeah. Push yourself. Wallahi, thumma wallahi. Take the advice from yeah. me. The minute you open the mas- mashaf, mm. the Quran, mm. you're holding and you start feeling the pain, yeah. the first thing you should do, oh Allah, mm. call upon Allah. Yeah. Wallahi, mm. thumma wallahi. Mm. I told you this before, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything will go because yeah. Allah he says, inna ma'al usri yusra. yusra. Yeah. The hardship you are going at the same time, there's a relief on it. On it, on it, yeah. Call upon it. Idu'uni. So inshallah, my advice for you, don't stop. Read. Yeah, read Quran. Yeah. This shaitan who is there will die. Yeah, By Allah, inna kamayt wa inna maytun. He is going to die and you will die. And I will die. Yeah. Everybody else will die. No one will stay. Mm. The shaitan that's giving you a hard time, he will die. Yeah. Because they are afraid of the death yeah. than anything else. Yeah. So don't be put under captive. Yeah. Don't mm. just fight him. Mm. Yeah. Fight him until you defeat, inshallah. Yeah. And I'm here, inshallah, to help you with ideas and everything, okay. inshallah. And uh, the masturbating and everything, yeah. quote it, is haram. Yeah. It's haram, absolutely mm. haram. Mm. There are some ulamas mm. justified it, mm. but it's haram. Mm. You cannot do that. Mm. Absolutely not. These are batil hula ulamas. Mm. Do you know? There's yeah. haq ulama and mm. batil yeah. ulama. Shaitan has always got his own people working mm. for him, isn't it? Mm. Mm. So stop it. Don't yeah. do it at all, mm. inshallah. And inshallah. ask Allah to make it easy for you Amen. and remove the ordeal and the Amen. problem you're going through. Amen. Amen. And this shaitan will die.